Um, you said this morning that the president had a little extra pep in his step uh, after that meeting. Were with, you up uh, very early this morning? No, I watched it, it after. Like? Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you, you, you said that uh, he had a little extra pep in his step after that meeting with Senator uh, Manchin on Sunday. I, is that because there was any agreement on any specific provisions, such as climate change issues, for example, or, or some of the other outstanding issues? Or was it just a kind of general sense that things are moving in the right direction? There was agreement on the need to move forward agreement on the need to make these historic investments in child care and elder care and expanding access to health care. And there are important discussions now about exactly how to do that. Uh, that's where the stage we're at right now. But he was encouraged by the discussion and the meeting he had uh, with Senator Schumer and Senator Schumer. Mitchell. Given the outstanding issues on climate, was there any specific progress on those issues? I mean, the president is heading to the summit in a matter of days. You know, can you give us an update in, in the spirit of the transparency the president showed last week at the town hall in terms of the specific issues being negotiated? Well, let me let me talk to you about a couple of the components. I mean, what we're looking at right here on climate specifically, again, I've said a couple times, historic investment, many, many times larger than the currently the largest investment in climate uh, change or addressing the climate crisis in history. But what we're talking about here, some of the areas of consideration are creating new grants and loans to support industrial sector decarbonization from steel, cement, aluminum, in addition to expanding relevant tax credits to support this goal. Creating targeted manufacturing credits that will help grow domestic supply chains for solar, offshore and onshore winds, with some of those credits targeted to auto and energy communities. Expanding access to rooftop solar and home electrification to yield consumer savings. Expanding grants and loans to rural co-ops to boost clean energy and energy efficiency and expanding grants and loans in the agricultural sector. So what we're talking about there is really in a cross sector uh, uh, industry, a range of industries, obviously agricultural, industrial, and also to consumers incentivizing what we all need to be doing, which is moving toward uh, a stronger focus on addressing the climate crisis. Just, uh, just on